Hi, teachers. I've already recorded this one time, and I actually made a giant mistake, so I have to redo this whole thing. So if I seem a little out of it, I'm so sorry. Um, this one's going to be way better, though. So you'll notice I have a microphone. <laughs> so believe me, I don't take myself that seriously. Like this is just for recording, like music and stuff. And I had it and I didn't want the thing on my head. So, you know, whatever. So in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of things. I'm going to show you how to change the way your class lo looks on your dashboard. And I'm going to show you how to customize your homepage in your class and how to make buttons, custom buttons for your homepage. Um, now you might be saying, what's a button? This is a button, basically where you click it and it takes you somewhere else. That's, that's basically a link, but it looks pretty. So those are the three things I'm going to show you in this video. So let's start with how things look on your dashboard. So this is your dashboard right here. And first of all, I'm going to tell you about my class that you're in. So it comes up and it looks like this, like it's really long. Um, so what you can do here is you can click these three little dots and you can change the nickname and that's what will show up um, here on the tile. And then also when you click here for your courses, that's what shows up here. So you don't have a bunch of really long names showing up. Like, let me show you. Oh, I already nicknamed all of mine. Well, sorry, I can't show you. Um, so yeah, that's how you change the nickname. Now, a couple of other things. See how all of these have the same picture? You can't see all of these, but still, you might want a different picture on your course, like for your students to see. So there's a way to change that, and I'm going to show you how. But if you want to change, you can change the nickname here, and then you can also change the overlay color just by clicking one of these and clicking apply. It's super easy. Okay. So let me show you how to change this picture. So I'm going to go into um, one of my courses for Institute that I'm working on. Okay, so this is my Jesus Christ and the Everlasting Gospel Institute class. Um, and that's just like the generic picture and I want to change it. So I'm going to go into the class. And this might not look like your class, but it's pretty much set up the same. So it should be, should be very, very, very similar, if not exactly the same. Okay. So to change that picture, um, first of all, make sure you have a picture downloaded. You can get a picture off of the gospel media library there's so many pictures on there so you can find one on there so what you're going to do is scroll down and you've, you're on the home page you're going to scroll down you're going to hit settings and then on the course details this image pops up right here so what you're going to do is click the three little dots and click choose image so i want to choose a different image and I can either click that to browse for the file or I can just drag it in here. And I am a drag and drop person. So I'm going to drag my picture in here. And that's my new picture. Isn't that cool? Okay. So, um, sorry, I just got text. Um, it should already have this in there, but if it doesn't, you can change the start and end dates, which for Denton Steak, we don't know when we're starting yet. For Louisville, you know, you're starting the first, first week of September, I think. 
So this is for my institute class. So I know we're starting August 24th and we're ending December the 5th. Okay. All right, so I'm going to scroll down and then I'm going to click update course details. Alrighty. So another thing just to be aware of in your class, this means that the students can't see it. But if you want them to see it, um, all you would do is go over here to navigation and like let's say you want them to be able to see the zoom. So you would just click enable and then um, it will move, you can move it up here. Just literally all you do is click the three dots, click enable, and then you, oh, then it moves right up there. And then if you want, why did they choose these? This, I don't know, this doesn't make sense to me. Okay, I'm gonna enable the um, discussions. Okay, so if you want these closer to the top, all you do is click and drag up. I usually like for modules to go to go after the announcements. I mean, it's whatever you want. Um, some other ones you probably we probably are going to have a syllabus, so you want to put that in there. Anyway, you can just play around with that. All right. So I click save. So the other things on here, you don't need to worry about sections, apps. I wouldn't really worry about that. And I wouldn't worry about that either. So really all you need to do is navigation and course details if you want to change this picture. Okay. So let's go back to our home page. Okay, so this is what we want to edit right here. Actually, let me take you to the dashboard and show you that the picture has changed. All right, let's scroll down. And you can see my picture's changed. Isn't that lovely? All right, so we're going to go back into there, into this class. So this is the home page that we want to edit. Um, so we've got this picture and we've got a welcome message and then these are the buttons here. And the button issue is probably the most complicated part, but it's not even that bad really. So, um, why don't we start with the buttons? So I'm going to put a link, when I post this video, I'm going to put a link to a page that um, will uh, help you make custom buttons and it really does make it easy. So I have it saved here. It's called The Button Factory. I want to open that in a new tab. So basically the buttons are like, I mean you've you've seen in our in our class. It's for places that you want to easily be able to navigate to. Um, like this week's lesson or um, like an instructor page, or I like putting the scriptures there. You could put one for Zoom, and you could link your uh, Zoom, your weekly Zoom link in there. So there's a bunch of different things you can do. Um, it's just up to you. For this class um, in particular, I'm going to... Um, make four. Okay. So this is the, the button generator and it's really easy to do. So this is where you create it. Basically all you do is type in here what you want it to say. Um, I like to do mine in all caps this week. And then you just click out of it. That's what it looks like. You can choose which font you want. I like this one. You can choose if you want it bolded or not. I think I like it not. 
italicized or not. You can change the color. So many colors. Blah. You can do a shadow. I'm not really a shadow person, so that's just me. So this is the only thing that I would recommend is to not do fit to text because it just kind of like messes. I don't know. When they're not all the same size, it looks kind of funny. So I would change it to just click on this little arrow and change it to fixed. Okay. Now, this is probably not the longest text amount of text that you're going to have. So I would... What I've been doing is, oh, my Lanta, can you type in here? Yes. Okay. I've been doing 300, um, and I don't think I did 50. I think I did 75. Yeah, that's what I did. That's just my personal preference. Um, so you can change the height and the width. It's up to you. Then you can change the style over here. This is where it gets kind of fun. So this is the rounded rectangle. Or you can do fully curved. So if you go back to the rounded rectangle, you can also change the radius of the corners. So you can do sharp corners or rounded. I like rounded corners. Um, then for the background, you can change the color. Um, and you can do more than, you can do two colors, or you can do like a gradient. I don't know, like my philosophy is just keep it clean, keep it simple, because um, you want to make sure it's really easy to read. I, I do, I don't mind like a nice, nice gradient. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's not horrible. Um... Yeah, that's some that's some nice seminary colors going there. Um, you can swap it if you want the gradient to go the opposite way. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. And then there's other stuff in here you can do. I don't know, like I said, uh my philosophy is just to keep it keep it simple. Okay, so once you've got your button made, basically all you're going to do is download it and it saves it as a picture. So you just click download. And I have to move this over a wee bit. And you're going to drag and drop onto your desktop or however you download pictures, um, wherever you put them. Just put it somewhere where you can find it quickly because you don't want to have to go searching for them. Um, let's see, then you can just, I mean, you don't, once you have one button set, don't change all the colors and stuff. Just leave it that way, the way it is, and, um, and change the text. So maybe I want my other one to be, um, zoom. And then you just click download. And you, oh, I have to move this over. Drag and drop. Cool beans. So feel free to pause this video right here and go to the link and make your own buttons right now. Um, and you can, you know, rewind and play it over so you can make your own buttons. Um, so I actually make my buttons on a different program, but that's just because I'm weird and I like to use very particular fonts and, you know, I'm, it's just whatever. Um, the pro If you are into making, like, pretty stuff, <laughs> if you're into that, like, do, finding your own pictures and making your own buttons. If you're really into that sort of thing, I use a program called Canva. Um, you can get a free version. It's really fun to use if you like to do any kind of graphics. Um, 
So we finished our buttons. Now we're back on our home page, and um, so this is the home page where it is currently. Now this don't don't click this and edit this page. That was my big mistake last time, and I knew I shouldn't do it, and I did it anyways, and it was a mistake. <laughs> so don't edit this with this button right here. It's tempting, but don't do it. What you want to do is you want to go down here to pages. You want to click pages. And this is going to come up again. And then you click view all pages. Okay, so now this is going to show all of the pages in your course. What you want to do is you want to create your own page. Totally new page. So you just click the plus page. Now you want to uh, name it, and I'm just gonna. Oh, whoa! I'm just gonna uh, name it home page. Um, oh look, there it is, home page. Jesus Christ and everlasting gospel. Okay, so this is a clean slate. Sorry, my chair, my chair is squeaking. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, so this is a clean slate. We can do whatever we want. It's exciting. <clears throat> so normally people put a picture at the top, kind of like a Facebook cover page. Um, so if you find a picture and you download it, um, but it's really big, you might want to crop it so it's more the size of like a cover photo, like on Facebook. You want it to be a uh, wider and shorter if that makes sense you'll see when i upload this one okay so i'm just going to click my cursor where i want my photo to be and then i'm going to go over to this icon here um i'll give you guys a second if you need to catch up All right, so if you hover over this, it says images. So you're going to click here and you're going to click upload image. And this is just where you either, same as when we uploaded the image for our dashboard, you can drag and drop or you can click that and browse for your image. I, like I said, like to just drag and drop it. So I'm going to drag and drop that in there. And this is what I want my cover photo to be. All right. So I've got that in there. <clears throat> Y'all, my internet is really slow out here in the boonies. So sorry. Um, okay, so this is my cover photo. I like it. The only issue is if you click save, I want to make sure this is in the center. So click the picture and then click there and do center. Okay, every time you add something, you can go back and look at it and see what it's going to look like if you just click save. Don't click save and publish, just click save. Okay, so let me see if I did this right. Pause for one moment. Okay, I'm back, sorry. So, this is fine and dandy, and if you like it this way, then that's great. However, um, there's a part of the, I don't want to get too much into all this craziness, but basically there's a piece of code that tells this that it stays 
it can't go bigger than the size in which you uploaded it. So you have to, it sounds scary, but don't be scared. It's not that scary. Just follow the steps and we'll get through it together. There's a part of the code for this page that tells it what to do. And it's missing something from the original home page that was automatically loaded in there that is important. So let me just show you what to do. And it really, it's, it's not going to be too hard. I'm just going to go over here to pages and I'm going to click open link in new tab. Okay. So this is their original home page and it works really well. I like how it does it, when whether it's big or small, how everything changes the way it's supposed to. So I'm going to go here to edit. And it comes up like this. Oh, sorry, I didn't tell you guys that. So if you're frustrated when you go in to edit a page um, by this, um, by it being really small like that, all you do is hit these little dots, hover over them and this little two arrows will show up and you just click and you drag it down and that'll make it bigger. Okay, this is the part where I'm gonna just say, don't freak out. What you wanna do is click this and it says switch to raw HTML editor. That's what you wanna do, so click this. Don't freak out. What we're going to do is not hard. Okay. So if you just look at, look at this, you can see um, that this is the image. Course home image. And it shows the width and the height. Basically what we want to do is change the style of it. Um, so if you go into your home page, do this same thing. You click down here for the HTML editor. You'll see the IMG, which is image, and then the style after it. Go back to the original home page in your other tab. Okay, so See, here's the IMG, and then style stuff here. So basically what you want to do is take right after the IMG, and you want to highlight all the way through to the quotation marks before SRC. And it should be the same in your, in your Book of Mormon class. Okay, so you've highlighted that. You don't even have to know what it means, just highlight it, right click, and click copy. Now go back into your home page that you're creating. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to take, look right after image, this is like the same. You want to take from style, and you want to highlight all the way through to those quotes before SRC. Okay? And now you want to right click and you want to click paste. And it pastes that in there. Okay, so let's see if you can work right. So go scroll down and click that again. Okay, so that looks fine. Now click save. Basically what it does is it, um, it affects the size of it um, and how it scales on the page when it's bigger or smaller. You don't have to do that. If that was just like really stressful for you, then just ignore it and let's move on. But if it wasn't too stressful, then hopefully it worked. <laughs> okay, so... Sorry, I didn't 
I didn't tell you what I was doing. We're going to go back into edit. So click edit. And you're going to click these little three dots and scroll down. Okay, so this is where you would want to put like a nice um, welcome message. Um, so you've got your cursor here. If it doesn't show up, just click to the side of the picture and press enter and it should show up below it. So you want to say something nice like welcome to class. You can say whatever you want there, but it's little and not a fan of how that looks. So we're going to highlight it, scroll up. And here where it says paragraph, you're going to click it and change it to the biggest one, heading two. And then it's up to you where you like the text. I like it in the center. So you're going to come up here to the align and click that and click center. And I like it bolded. Okay, cool. Now, if you want to change the color, you can come up here to the little A with the line under it and click that and you've got all these colors and you can click the paint uh, palette and do a custom color. All you do is just move this little dot around and if you don't want red, if you want something else, then you move this little slider up and down. You can get whatever color you want. I have a color saved already that's for this class. Okay. So that's where you can put your welcome text. Now let's go to our buttons. So there's, there's definitely more than one way to put in a button, but everything that I tried to figure out was way too complicated except for this one way. If you know another way and it's not complicated, then great. Maybe share share with the class because <laughs> this was like, this was not doing this wasn't stressful, but trying to figure out how to do it was stressful. Um, okay, so basically what we're going to do, remember we saved our buttons as pictures from the button generator, whatever it was called. Um, and what we're going to do is essentially make, um, a little table to put these buttons in. When I say table, I mean basically like it looks like an Excel spreadsheet with cells. So the really cool thing about this, you click these three little dots and you see this little table icon, you click that and you, it says put in a table. So this is really cool. When you want to put in a table, all you do is move the mouse over and that's, um, that's what the table is going to look like that it puts in for you. Isn't that cool? So if you did four buttons, then you, and you want them all in a row, ducks in a row, then you do one, two, three, four, and you would just click and it would put those in. I personally like to put two and two like that. So I'm going to click that and here's my table. Cool. Now I want to put in the buttons, which is just pictures right now. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Okay. So I just put my cursor into this cell and I go up here to the image. And I click that and I click upload image. And I told you guys I made different buttons for this class. So I'm going to use those. I, if I was going to use the ones that I showed you guys here, here they are right here. The green ones I made just drag and drop. And that's what it looks like. And that's what it looks like when you put it into the cell. It's really pretty easy. So I have other buttons that I've made that I like for this class. I have a color scheme going. So um, this is my button. I'm going to, oh, I'm not going to do that. No, no. 
I'm going to go up here to this image. I'm going to click that, upload image. Now I'm going to drag and drop. There we go. And then click submit. All right, so that's in there. Cool beans. For time for my next one. So I'm going to click this cell, click up here on the image, click upload image, and then the next one I want is scriptures. So I'm going to drag and drop that, hit submit. There it is. Do my next one. Click the cell, click the image, click upload image, and I want Brother Clayton's next. Drag and drop, click submit. Oh. And then my last one, click the cell, go up here, click image, click upload image. And this is mine gonna drag and drop and submit. Okie dokie. So let's click save and see what this looks like. Okay, like cool, but that's not exactly what I was hoping for. We don't want these lines here and they are like aligned weird. Okay, let's scroll back up and click it. Okay, remember these little dots? Two arrows show up and you click and move it down so it makes it bigger. Okay, so I want these to all be aligned center. So I'm going to highlight all of them. And all I'm going to do is go up here to the alignment and click center. There you go. But I really don't want these lines to show up. So here I've got my table selected. I just clicked it. And if you click this right here that looks like the table, then the table properties will show up. Okay. So hit advanced and then for border style, you want none. So sometimes that still doesn't do the job. So I click this and I just choose white to make sure nothing shows up. Then you're going to go back to general and this is to align the entire table and I want it to be center. So I'm going to click that and click center. Then none of this needs to be there. Um, and I guess I'll go ahead and show you why. So when I click save, um, see how they're all like really far apart? Yeah, I don't like that. I'm not a fan. So I'm going to click on the table again. I'm just going to delete these. And then I'm going to click save. And now they're all there together. Okay. Let's click save and see what that looks like. La la. I like it. I like it. Okay. But technically these aren't buttons yet because they don't take you anywhere, right? Anywhere, right? Like you can't click it and it takes you somewhere like on our homepage in our class. So we're going to go click edit and all you're doing is adding a link. Like, you know how in like a word document or an email, you would add a hyperlink to text. That is essentially what you're doing here. So click these again and pull it down, make it bigger. So we're going to add a link to these images. So I'm going to click the image. And so this week, that for me is the lesson for the week. So I click that and then I'm going to go up here, click on the three dots 
and then I'm going to go to this that looks like a link. I'm going to click on that, and since I'm going to a module that's in the course, right? So I'm going to click course links, and then up here on the side, all this is going to come up. So I'm going to click, um, if I want it to go to the lesson for the week, I'm going to click modules. And then I want it to go to week one. So I'm going to click that. And now your link is done. So now it's officially a button. Okay, so for this one, I usually like to put a link for the scriptures, like on um, the church website. So let's let us go to the church website. I'm going to just open up a new tab and I've got it saved on my browser. Okay. Oh, they changed this. Yay, Pioneer Day. Okay, so to get to the scriptures, you just click library and scriptures. That's where I want it to link to. So all you do is you go up here to the web address, you click it, and it should highlight all of it. If not, just drag and highlight it. Right click and click copy. Okay, so that's copied. Now you're going to go back in your other tab. Oh, not that tab. I don't need that tab anymore. Go away. Okay, back into this tab. And we're going to click the image. And then we're going to go back to these three dots up here. And we're going to click the link. And then um, since this is not a link within the course, it's outside of the course, you're going to click external link. And all you do is paste it in there. Right click and paste. And that's it. And you just click done. And now it's a link. Okay, so these two with Brother Clayton and Sister John's, these are just um, pages that will basically have like information about us on there and what we can do for the students in this class. Um, and these are just pages that I've created. So they're within the course. So it's the same deal. We're just going to click on the image. We're going to click the three dots. We're going to click the link. Oh, I've got to move this. Click the link and this time it's a page that I've created in this course. So I'm going to click course links and it's a page. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to, I named it Brother Clayton. So I'm going to find that one. Mm, there it is. I'm going to click that. And now it's a link. And then I'm going to do the same thing for mine. I'm going to click the image. I'm going to click the three dots. Click the little link. And it's course link. So I'm going to click that. It's a page, and there I am. I'm going to click that. So now these should all be links. So let's scroll down and hit save. Okie dokie. So let's test it, see if it works. Click this week. Ta-da! Cool. Now to get back to the page that we were just editing, you need to go to pages and it'll take you to this, but then you just click view all pages. Um, and I like to view this by um, last edit. So just all you do is click that. And see, this is the one we were making. This is the one that's there, that's there currently. This is the one we were making. So I'm going to click that. So yay, it works. And then let's see if our external link works. We're going to click scriptures. And there we go. It opened up a new tab to take us to the scriptures. Easy peasy, what? Easy peasy lemon 
squeezy. Guys, I'm tired. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. So, if that's all you want to add to your home page, then there you go. It's done. Um, but one thing that I like to add to home pages is a video. It's just fun. People love video comment content. It's the number one uh, type of content out there. And so I learned that in my social media class. Um, so let's find a video to put on our homepage, um, which I just find stuff on YouTube. And so I'm going to click YouTube. Oh, my Lanta. And there we go. Okay, so we're starting with Alma 17. So let's see if we can find a video for Alma 17. Ah, there it is. That was like so easy. Okay, click that. Pause. So, um, to put a video in your, in any page, whether it's in a discussion or an assignment or anything in your class, it's so easy or on a comment even. It's really, really simple. I'm going to show you. So all you do is click share and then you click, don't click copy. This is not what we want. No, no. All you do is click embed. This looks scary, but don't be frightened by it. Just, oh, I forget you don't have to do that. Just click copy. That's all you have to do. And go back to your home page and click edit. Drag that down. Okay, now put your cursor where you want the video. And I don't want mine aligned to the left. I want it in the center. So I'm going to click center. Okay. And I want it one more down, actually. Okay, so this is really easy. All you do is click these three dots. And then you click this one that looks like, kind of looks like YouTube and iTunes. So it's just video and audio. You click that. And even though you're not uploading it, you're embedding it, just put uh, click upload slash record media and you click embed all you do so easy since you copied the embed code you just paste it in and then you hit submit and then ta-da there it is and then you click save there it is does it work in about 90 BC, it does. Hooray! My internet is horrible. <laughs> um. Okay. So we've got our video in there. We've got our links in there. We've got our picture, our welcome message. Um. So we made, we made our, our homepage. Now what you want to do is you want to just, all you have to do is literally just click this publish button, which means it can be viewed. So you've published it. If you want to unpublish it, you don't want people to see it. Literally all you have to do is click that. It's so easy. Okay. So let's click home. Ah, oh, our homepage isn't there. Where did it go? It's because we haven't told Canvas that we want that as our homepage yet. So we've got to do that. And it's so easy. You're just here on home. And all you do is go over here and say, choose home page. Click that. Okay. So pages front page, which is this one currently. And we don't want that. We want to change. So click change. Okay. I want to go to last edit. So this is the one that we just made. And you can see because it says my last edit was today by me. And that's what I named it. Um, 
So all you have to do is um, click the three dots here and you just scroll down or not scroll down you just um, move your mouse down to use this front page and click that. Okay, so let's go to home again. Look, now it's there. Hooray! This was a long video, so I'm really sorry, but it's it's not the simplest process, but it's really not that hard either. I think it just takes some practice um, knowing how to do the stuff. And see, look, when you make it big, make it small, they change sizes, and it looks really nice. So now this is what your students will see when they come to the home page. I think it's pretty easy. If you have any questions about how to do this, um, you can send me a message. Um, and if you remember, I'm going to put the link to the button generator um, with this video and I'm going to post this video, um, on the canvas. What is it called? Um, basically on the training, on the training page that has all the different kind of links and training on it. So I hope this is helpful to you. I'm going to do a new video every week showing you how to do something in your class. We've got to figure out how to do grades and put in assignments in the calendar. So there's lots of stuff we still have to learn, but I think if you can get your homepage set up first, this kind of helps you figure out how to do a lot of things that you'll do on in many different situations in Canvas, like putting in a picture or putting in a video or doing a link. Um, so I hope this is helpful to you and I hope you guys have a great weekend and a great Pioneer Day. So I'm usually in Utah for Pioneer Day, and I don't get to this year, but that's okay. We'll just celebrate here. Okay, uh, let me know if you have questions. See ya.